Hmm, so you know what I've been thinking lately? What the f- Oh, that's just dunk. Oh, check these babies out. And this channel, this YouTube channel, I'm gonna show you how I train to dunk because I'm basically at square one. Yes, I reached a 42.5 inch vertical, but I'm back to square one. If I wanna go to the next level, I have to climb back down the mountain and get the fuck back up to a new height. So a lot of times we get to a point of the mountain, which for me was bad technique, imbalances and weaknesses, and now I gotta come all the way back down and relearn everything, but now with more knowledge, more experience, and this is what I'm sharing with you, so I'm super pumped about that. Welcome to friggin' and we're killing it. So, this is the motivating factor I've been thinking that I really wanted to share with you guys, which is this. In one day, just for dunk training, it's hard enough to get a good night's sleep. We have stressors, we have thoughts that our mind raises, at least mine does. Sometimes noises happen, sometimes people have kids or friends or family that wake them up. You don't get the quality sleep. Just to get a nice quality eight hour sleep is good. That means you had to go to sleep at the right time the night before as well. That's just sleep, one tiny factor of the day. Then throughout the day, are you on top of your things? Did you plan correctly? Did you use your time wisely? Did you get distracted with social media? Did you go to school? Did you go to work? Did you do well there? Did you get your right food? Did you go to the grocery store? Did you get your nutrition in? Did you get your hydration in? Are you drinking enough water? Are you getting enough greens? Are you getting enough carbs? Are you getting enough protein for fuel and recovery? Did you find time to stretch in the morning so that way your body's getting that momentum going that way? That's all factors. Just sleep and nutrition. Then are you working on your business? You got to make money somehow. You got to live your life. You got to be happy as well are we happy at this time as well all these factors going in are you increasing your knowledge are you learning about your body are you thinking about your body how do i feel am i tight here today see all these factors that are going in there's even more so then when you go training for me when i'm doing this hamstring i'm trying to stretch and do my single leg deadlifts but my body wants to compensate my body wants to protect itself so i have to remind myself go through the pain and hold my position my hips want to open but i got to keep them square and center it's really hard to carve those patterns over and over and over again then use my energy to stretch and just using my body correctly in the actual workout is tough enough but also i had enough energy to do that workout if you don't have enough energy it's going to be hard to make those clear decisions and it's going to be hard to push yourself through those workouts so all of this comes down to that sleep or that energy that you had throughout the day do you have energy to do the workout post-workout do you have time to go eat what you want to eat are you getting the right fuel are you doing it on time are you going to get some blood flow are you going to stretch are you going to go to the shower take an epsom self bath do icing whatever you got to do are you doing all these things in one day trying to do all those things and then also taking note of it tracking it and then getting back to sleep on time i skipped a ton of things you can do especially for life this is just training and then are you able to shut down unwind and get yourself in bed before you before it's too late meaning if you let it drift too much you don't get the deep sleep i talked about it on another podcast are you able to get back in bed 9, 10 o'clock to get that full sleep that you need to recover? After we just spent the day maximizing our efficiency and energy, can you unwind yourself? All those things are so difficult to nail on the head first try with perfect timing and accuracy in one day just for training. Not to mention if you're creative like myself, trying to be inspired, create podcasts, create good quality stuff and post it and market yourself, all those different things. That's what training is like. And also, the huge factor I just said is trying to line up all those things in one day and then doing it the next day. And then the next day. And then again and again and again. Of course, you're not going to train hard every single day, but you still have to move your body. You still have to make progress with your body, even if it's knowing when to rest, even if it's just a little bit of stretching. And sometimes we go for a walk that was too long, meaning we we scheduled something with somebody and we it's overdoing it. Whatever. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but you know what I mean. 
doing that over and over and over again and being that consistent is so difficult. That's the challenge that I love, but I've got, I want you guys to know that it's not just one exercise done and now it's in your body. You have to constantly stay on this and it only gets more and more intricate when your goals get bigger and more difficult and they get That's why it slims at the top. So that's why there's the 1% because it's harder and harder and harder to really get to that level. So I'm excited. I'm really pumped. My goals are to dunk off the dribble with ease. I'm trying to surpass a 43-inch vertical. I'm trying to jump my healthiest I can. I can. No time frame because these type of things you can't put time limits on because you can't rush the process. You just have to trust the process and be in it. So thank you for joining. Excited to share this with you. Let me know what you want to see. Subscriber dunk reviews are coming soon. I know you guys love those, so I'm trying my best. But thank you so much. Subscribe if, if we want. And we're, we're blowing up. I'm excited. So, Dunk to Tuesday. Yeah. All we do is talk. Dunk to Tuesday. You know I'm vertical. You don't want to jump. Dunk to Tuesday. First try. Dunk to Tuesday. Yeah, man. Dunk life out here. I came into that room. You get started, you will. Just training and jumping and... It in short, which is good. It used to be, they fixed it. All right, guys, so this right here, I'm using my quad, as you see, that's why I touch it to show you, holding my legs right there to keep my knee at 90 and just trying to straighten my leg. This is my injured hamstring, really hard to get it straight. My quad has to work super hard, and as you can see, it's almost as if my body is fighting itself, but this has been a fantastic stretch. You could try it, and because you're using your quad to stretch your hamstring, it's a very safe way to stretch your hamstring, and there's a lot of pain for me, but I'm really making progress. Now, the other one is a single leg deadlift. This one is really hard to do correctly because there's so much pain involved so i'm really just trying to keep my hips aligned my body wants to move away from that pain but i have to recarve these patterns trust that i'm not hurting anything because my physical therapist told me and also after i've done these exercises a few times i actually feel better the next day so it's been a really tough balance but learning a lot pushing myself through this and really making that tissue work the way it needs to to stimulate recovery have a great day Tuesday. You know I do it for myself. Go to Tuesday. And I can never get enough. Go to Tuesday. And I ain't never giving up. That's how we do it, baby. Thank you for joining. I'll see you soon, baby. Let's go. go to Tuesday.